you say that reptiles should not be kept in captivity and that reptile owners need to be more informed. Why do you say this? There are several reasons why I say this. Uh, for the obvious reason, some reptile owners can't properly take care of their reptile, but then there's also environmental factors that come into play. Some of the reptiles that you can get at Petco or Petland, some of them are wild caught. And in 2003, 84% of the pet reptiles in the UK were wild caught. And this is a bad thing because these reptiles, they were predators and they were also prey. And if you take them out of their environment, that messes up the whole ecosystem over there. But in some cases, this can also damage the ecosystem over here. Some reptile owners aren't aware of the fact how reptiles can get stressed in captivity and become aggressive, or reptile owners don't know how to properly take care of the reptile, and if they can't give it to somebody else, they might let it loose. And if it's a place where this reptile can thrive, such as in Florida, it can do some damage. Uh, it could do damage as in serving as competition for resources against the native animals, but also if this reptile was sick, it can also make other reptiles sick. What do you want people with reptiles to know? I want them to know why reptiles should not be in captivity because of these environmental reasons or not well enough cared for. But I also want them to know how to properly care for their reptile and to know to do some research in advance to getting a reptile. My hope is that reptile owners will become more informed because 15% of reptiles suffer from malnutrition and 50 to 90 percent of reptiles die in their first year captivity. Also, there are four million households in the U.S. alone that possess some sort of reptile or amphibian, so it is important that reptile owners do take proper care of their reptiles because there's a good bit of them. Also, reptile owners knowing about that reptile is important, so if the reptile is stressed, leading to aggressiveness, the owner can know what to do. I'm here to inform reptile owners to know, so that they know to look up the specific reptile that they want and things about that reptile so it will be easier on the reptile but also the owner. This includes knowing how to properly care for the reptile but also being aware of stuff such as zootonic diseases. You have mentioned care for reptiles several times. Uh, what, what does it take to properly care for a reptile? They need a cool and a warm spot of their terrarium. Uh, because reptiles are cold-blooded, they can't regulate their own body heat, so th that's how they would regulate their body heat, switching from warm to cool. Uh, if your whole terrarium is warm, then that won't be good, because the reptile might not be comfortable being warm all, all the time. If your whole terrarium is cool, then they may not be comfortable, because the reptile may not be want to be feel cool all the time. Uh, reptiles also need proper food, they also need a, a clean and dry terrarium and you also need to be aware of the fact that reptiles can get sick, they can get parasites, things like that. Oh. Going back to housing reptile, you want to make sure that you do look up what that specific reptile needs for that housing situation. For instance, if, a, if the humidity is too humid or something in a terrarium that can that can cause fungal infections or respiratory problems or if the temperature is not right that can cause the reptile to have digestive problems or even mouth rot. You said something earlier about zootonic diseases. Now can you please clarify for me what that exactly is? Zootonic diseases are diseases that can be spread from animals to humans. And in a six year span, about 50 million people will be infected with zootonic diseases and 78,000 of those people what would be a common one we see in reptiles. Salmonella. 90% of reptiles shed salmonella in their, in their face and 11% um, of all salmonella incidents, like when humans get salmonella, is because of reptiles. This also goes back to proper care making sure that reptile owners do their homework because you always want to wash your hands before handling a reptile and always after handling a reptile. You said reptiles should not be captive. 
But you also specified that's not what you're arguing. You're arguing that reptile owners need to be more informed. So where exactly is your opinion on reptiles being captive? No, like the Humane Society, I do believe that reptiles should not be captive. But because reptiles are probably going to remain captive, the next best thing is for reptile owners to be informed so the reptiles that are captive can have a better life than if their owners were not informed. So just to make sure, you really do think reptiles should not be captive? Yes, but the fact is because reptiles are here to stay. I think the next most important thing is for reptile owners to know what they're doing so that, that, so that the reptile can live on longer and that the owner will have an easier time handling the reptile and taking care of it.